All right, I'm Don Fisher with uh, Geek Vibes Nation. How you doing, Tamara, Sienna? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm great. Uh, so I guess we'll jump right into it. Um, so with this franchise being a long story franchise, I believe it started before both of you were born. Um, what does it feel like being a part of it? And I'll start with you, Sienna. It's incredibly humbling and very nerve wracking. That's for sure. Just because we know it's very respected and it's already been established, but it's also really exciting because I think we're very proud of the show and how it was able to just, Andrew Dobb did a brilliant job of expanding the storyline and, and telling it from a new perspective while still keeping the world alive. And that was really cool. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, um, it is truly just, it, it was intimidating. It was very intimidating to come in because as Sienna said, it, the world is already established and it means so much to people. Mm -hmm. And so the last thing we want to ever do is, you know, do it where it offends people or anything like that. And so I think that's what we were nervous for. But I think we are super proud of what we've done. Um, Andrew did such an amazing job and just working with everyone was amazing. And being able to have that support because I think everyone was just as nervous as each other. Yeah. And so we were just able to kind of work together and be like, okay, we're all nervous. And so let's just go on and do this thing. And if it works, it works. And if not, we can, you know, we can switch it around and we can change it. And I think that was really important is that we had a uh, creative um, input, which was, which was really nice. Yeah. And I know like with the series kind of starting with a, an older Jade, I feel like you two are like the main focal point and you kind of have this with being twins um, and fans will see why <laughs> you're twins. And <laughs> um, there's kind of a yin and yang to to you two um, with Sienna being more kind of a nonchalant. I'm just trying to go with the flow and Jade kind of being more of the, the fiery one. Is there um, any kind of extra backstory that we don't know as to why they are the way they are? Uh, I'll start with you uh, tomorrow. I think that the reason that they, they are exactly why they are is because <laughs> of the way that they cope. I think that the trauma that they had in their past and because they were moving around so much and they were being ripped away from their each home and their friends. And I think the reason why they are the way they are is because that's their coping mechanism. Billy is more introverted and so she wouldn't have made many friends. And so she's okay with moving and she gets along with uh, Albert more. And Jade is more out there. And so she's made friends, she's she's made this home. And so every time she gets moved, she gets angry and angry at dad. And I think that's why the way, why they, why, I can't talk, but that's <laughs> why they are the way they are. There's a moment, there's a moment actually in the first episode where Billy and Jade are having a moment on the sidewalk and Billy briefly mentions her past and she's actually when I first got this audition <laughs> casting told me to think of Billy like a mini Hulk like she's constantly trying to keep it down she's had like a, a history where she her anger gets the best of her and she's called a psycho and she like freaks out and I think that she's kind of overcompensated and tries to just be the peacemaker and to not be the troublemaker. And I think you filled that role in. And I I think we also just bond over that sort of dynamic though. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, um, what are you looking forward to? Because I, I foresee a season two. So what are you looking for for season two? And I'll start with you, Sienna. There's, there's so much going on. I think that there's, endless possibilities we have no idea what would happen but as you'll see in season one in those eight one hour episodes so much goes on and everyone changes and everything changes so I think whatever happens afterwards it will be bloody and it will be yeah. scary but extremely emotional and the dynamic between all the characters I think will completely change yeah I'm just excited to see more of Jade and Billy because mm -hmm. I think as much as we see, I don't feel like we see everything, which I think is so exciting because it mm -hmm. just leaves room for more. I think this whole show leaves room for more. Um, and so I think it will just be really exciting to see just more of their relationship. And I kind of want to see them fight a little bit because I think that'll be <laughs> funny. Um, and yeah, I think I that's mainly what I want to see. And I also really want to see more from the 2036 timeline because that's just insane. But um, yeah. 
Well, I appreciate your time and everyone be sure to check out Resident Evil. Uh, we can stream on Netflix on July 14th. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.